Hey guys, Cruise Nick X back with more Final Fantasy 14 goodness. Alongside me through party chat is Lady Darkfire. Hello. It's about time she replied. Um <laughs> But uh if you look off into the distance and actually look pay attention to something, you'll notice that there are a lot new decorations up in old uh as we uh as today is Little Ladies Day. Um, as such, we've got a whole bunch of shit to deal with. Um, I don't think there's really much in terms of music here this time around. Oh, yep, they've got music. Alright, but anyways, um, so, um, before I start off, um, for those of you who don't know what Little Ladies Day is about, Little Ladies Day traces back to the origins beyond behind the tale of the legend of the lost lady and it tells the tale of the sultan baldrick thorn who was known for his quick temper and even swifter justice um the 12 saw fit to uh, bless him with a daughter princess edvia who he loved more than anything um but Edvia was kind of became a wild child um, as she grew older. So the whole legend of the little lady is one day she decided to switch places with um, the daughter of a miller who had come it, come to the castle to um, what am I trying to say? Oh, to uh, deliver flour for the kingdom. Now, the son had seen fit to basically protect Edvia throughout this entire time. Um, you know, fuck it. I'm. I stop. I, I, I'm kind of stopped caring at this point, and I don't think anybody really cares because. Dark, hey! Dark Fire's heard the story already. I have, but still, other people might care to know it if they're just watching. All right, all right, all right. I'll continue the story. So, I, I missed a part where, where basically the Sultan was pr very protective of his daughter to the point where he hired, he confined her to the royal palace with over with 50 royal handmaidens and seneschals um so during this time that she's missing it doesn't take long for the sultanate to find out and upon hearing this the sultan ordered the royal guard to search for her as for the miller's daughter thinking that the mother of the daughter of the miller's daughter kidnapped Edvia, he had the Miller's house torn down, burned to flames. As it turns out, Edvia was in the... Edvia was found not far from the kingdom in one of the many markets in the area. And upon her return, she told her father about the whole ruse, explaining that it was all her idea, that the miller's daughter had nothing that, and her family had nothing to do with this. So upon hearing that, he realized that he basically had the family he taken out of, he he because what he had basically done, he's, he arrested these people, he'd thrown them into jail. So upon hearing what had happened, he decided to pull him out of jail, and not only did he have the royal architects rebuild their house, he also volunteered to become the mil the daughter's or seneschal for a day, saying that no lady, regardless of status, would well be denied. Well, the honor they deserve. Um, but, well, that's the gist of it. So, because of, because of that rumor, it was 
because that story was so well received, Old On now celebrates the Ladies' Day every year. And so, I don't even remember what's going on. But the Mithril Eye reporter's here, uh, and we're gonna do this quest and see what happens. Where's the person you buy stuff from? I have no idea. I don't even... Uh, we'll find out in a second. Pardon me, okay. sir. I'm a reporter with the Mithril Eye covering this year's Little Ladies Day. Might I trouble you with a few questions? Yeah, sure. Excellent! Now, lest the throngs of excited folk haven't already given it away, three special little ladies are due to grace the stage shortly. I speak, of course, of the Songbirds, the talented trio of pre-teen troubadours that took Old Dob Storm last year. Ever since their debut, their popularity has skyrocketed and shows no sign of slowing, which brings me to my first question. You know them, of course. Of course I do. Indeed. I do not. It'd be a wonder if you didn't. Now, as mentioned, the, the three are scheduled to perform soon, though not soon enough for their legion of devoted fans, the Bird Watchers. Which brings me to my next question. I'm informed that the Royal Seneschal, the man in charge of Little Lady Day, is experiencing difficulties and has urgent need from a capable and discreet adventurer. While I know not the exact nature of the request, I dare say it pertains to the waiting fans who grow louder and ruder by the minute. What say you? Would you be willing to aid the poor man? The lack of details gives you pause, and I don't blame you. At the very least, though, I thought you might overlook it for the chance to get close to our starlets. Well, it's your decision, but should you be inclined to lend a hand, the Royal Seneschal can be found by the stage on Emerald Avenue. Just don't be too long in the deciding, however. I fear he won't hold up for much longer. <coughs> Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, I think I know what's going to happen here. This is an outrage! Hage, we've been waiting for hours! We want songbirds! We want songbirds! L ladies and gentlemen, please settle down! The songbirds are currently preparing and will make their appearance shortly. We ask that you just wait a little longer. Uh. Chris, is that you? Ha <laughs> ha, my man, you couldn't have come at a better time. As you can see, I am in desperate need of your help. Please, come with me to the well Hellhead lift. I would speak of my plight in a private setting. Oh, what the hell happened this time? <clears throat> you know what? I don't feel like wearing my butler's outfit. <clears throat> I'll wear this. Alright, Royal Seneschal. Thank the gods you came when you did. The bird watchers have been like that ever since we began stirring up decoration, stringing up decorations for Little Ladies Day throughout the city. <sighs> if only I could say that was the worst of our problems. You see, while my staff and I labor to quell the unruly fans, we need someone to take on an even more urgent task. Someone who's, who is familiar with the city-states and can travel swiftly between them. Before I go on, however, I must ask that you keep our conversation in the utmost confidence. If the bird watchers were to learn of this, their angry words and raised fists would become pitchforks and torches. It is a lot to take in, I understand. But pray do not take too long to consider. I can already hear the angry shouts growing louder. Okay. Man, I should have done this, uh... Wait a minute, I'm switching. Because if I'm getting experience, I might as well do this as my gladiator. Uh-huh. Or my marauder. I might as well do this as my ninja. Yikes. Okay, then. 
I'm not very pretty. My equipment's all mismatchy. Alright, you ready to do this? Sure. Alright. You consent? Oh, thank you! Thank you so very much! <sighs> now, where am I to begin? You see, the girls, we can't find them. Not only that, their costumes are yet to be proper made or properly fitted. And the hour of the concert is nearly upon us! Gah! What a fool I was! When they asked me to allow them to pick out the fabrics and dyes for their dresses, I agreed. I thought it was a brilliant idea, even. One thing then led to another, and soon just browsing through local wares wasn't enough. They wanted to see what, the, what was available elsewhere. Now they've disappeared off to God's nowhere, and none of my staff has been able to locate them! I should have known this would happen. No doubt the reason they don't return is because they are lost, or being accosted by frenzied fans, or something even more horrific. My dear sir, I beg of you, please find and see that they are escorted back. This is a task I can only entrust to a capable and dependable adventurer such as yourself. Y you'll do it? Your words are not enough to express my gratitude! Now then... Hey. If the tidbits we've been able to gather are anything to go by, Olala likely is in Limsala Minsa, Narumi is in Horizon, and Masha in Gridania. I only hope they haven't wandered elsewhere. We simply cannot afford any more delays, or we may very well be in for a good old-fashioned lynching. Alright. First stop. Where to first? Limsala Minsa to search for Olala. You do remember you can piggyback off me, right, Darkfire? Yeah, I forgot. I'd already hit teleport. Shut it. Alright, most likely, if she's looking for fabrics, she's in... She's most likely... Hawker's Alley. Correct. <clears throat> My throat's itchy. Oh, no right fair! Now. You're a ninja! You're faster than me now! Fuck! Well, not only that, I decided to sprint. You're lucky I didn't so rub did... my weapons. So did I! I decided to sprint too! But. There's Ulala. Who? What a. Seven hells! <laughs> You're Ulala from the Songbirds, ain't you? I, I can't believe me eyes. We've got to tell the others about this. But first, oh, bug at me. I want to ask you for your autograph, but I haven't anything to write with. Your fans? Of mine? <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> well, in that case, instead of an autograph, how about I give you something even better? A little sneak peek of our concert. <laughs> Would you look at that? My dulcet voice has drawn yet another devoted follower. Well, sir, you're just in time for the... Wait a minute. Chris, is that you? Yeah, it's me. The Royal Senate sent you to find me, you say? I, I had no idea I was running so far behind schedule. But it isn't myself, my fault. You saw by yourself, right? I'm simply far too irresistible. Fans have been accosting me all day, and it wouldn't do to ignore them. Right then. My apologies, but I have, have to cut things short. But it seems I have a performance to put on, so I must be off. I hope you come and cheer for me. Uh, us, the songbirds. Mm-hmm. Alright, Olala. Let's hear the story. I would appreciate it if you could keep what happened here between the two of us. For, for the benefit of the team, of course. After all, Narumi and Masha were the... Her t if Narumi and Masha were to learn of the tremendous number of fans I have, it could very well deteriorate the group morale. Sure it would. Next! Next off, we're off to Horizon to search for Narumi. Oh, just do Gridania! What? 
You could have done Gridania. Horizons in Fanland, which we're going back to Old Da anyway. Yeah, and I can free teleport to Old Da. Wait, no, I can't. Eh, oh well. Alright, here's Narumi. <gasps> it's the Lightning Pony! Oh, God. Darkfire has You're been. You're only ponies, Christian! Okay, before we continue on, let me explain something. Darkfire has been bugging me about the freaking pony emotes for fucking ever. Ever since she learned about them. And I will not Mind hear the you, end of he it. promised he would run the extreme so I could get them, but he never does. I did it just so. He so... owes me ponies. I did it just so she could shut up. <laughs> anyway. He owes me ponies. Let's continue with the storyline. You've been staring at my samples for hours now, but I don't seem any closer to reaching a decision. Are you quite sure you don't want to take the night to think it over? Oh, I'm so very sorry, sir. It's just they're all so beautiful and... Maybe I'll just take this one. Uh, actually, maybe. Narumi. <gasps> Chris! She's what are you pretty. doing here? What a wonderful coincidence it is to see you. You're looking well. Is it that time already? I I can't believe it. I spent that, that long trying to decide on a color. And I haven't even made up my mind. I may be. I find something I like, but I, then I'm unsure whether the other songboards would like it too. And I keep second-guessing myself. Wait a second. These songbirds? You're one of them? Y yes. You know about us? How could I not? My daughter absolutely adores you. You have to die for your costume, right? A quick moment, if you would. What do you think of this one? One of my finest colors from one of my best customers. It's absolutely perfect. Thank you, sir. Now that I have my die, there's no reason to keep the others waiting. To Ulda! Last but certainly not least... We're off to... To find Masha Marukama. For those of you who haven't... Actually, I'm going to hold off on that. Alright. I guess Masha is somewhere in Old Gridania. This way. When there's a perfectly good good running area, just to... I mean... Where is she? Cause I'm, a... I'm not telling. Oh, I see where you are. I thought she would actually be in the market stalls, but she's across this, the cro across the road from the Leather Workers Guild. There she is, Masha Makaraka. Hmm. Given the quantity, it would be best to move these crates by ship them by Chocobo. Wait a second. I know you. You're Chris. What are you doing here? The Royal Seneschal bids me return at once. But I haven't been here long at all. Hmm. How long have I been here? That long? Good God! I, I must hurry back. Oh, but what are these boxes? What am I thinking? Now's hardly the time to be fretting over this. 
I'm terribly sorry to have to leave you on a lunch, madam, but I really must be going. Though a daunting chance, I'm more than... I'm sure you're more than capable of arranging for the delivery on your own. Now that that's taken care of, I shall return post haste. All right, time to piggyback off from uh, Darkfire. That would be very weird. What? You get... I can piggyback you, honey. Oh, you probably could. Not right now, I could. Well, not right now, but. Head start means I'll beat Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares. I do. Anyway. Fuck my controller died. Smooth. <laughs> Thank thanks to you, the girls have made it back in time, and we've managed to avert what could easily have been a little late day catastrophe. Girls, come here. I think we all owe the. Oh, this wonderful man, a you have a few words of thanks. You remember Chris from last year, of course. As if I could forget, though if I had, the starts you gave me earlier would have been enough to jog my memory. And not that I'm complaining, of course. Thank you for coming to get us. We'll repay your kindness for a performance so dazzling, it'll leave you breathless. Yes, indeed. It's the least we can do for all your help. While there's still works in progress, we're far from the fledgings you took that took to the stage last year. And we shall do our best to entertain you. I've been practicing night every waking moment, working hard on both song and dance. I hope you'll be able to appreciate the improvement. Right. Now that we're all assembled, let us start to work. There's still much to do if we are to deliver the promised concert. First things first, costumes. The girls were meant to see Redolent Rose about them a good while ago. I'm not certain he'd be able or even willing to prepare them in such little time, but we must try to prevail upon him. Considering what happened when I let the, these three out of my sight, I'd feel much more comfortable if you would accompany them to the Weaver's Guild and see that they return afterwards. Thank you, Chris. I've already sent the fabrics and dyes the girls picked out to Redolent Rose, so he should know to expect you. All right, off to the, off to the Weavers Guild. Oh, I needed to friggin' unlock Weaver. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Guildmaster Rose. You're not my Guildmaster yet! <laughs> On behalf of the songbirds, I would like to apologize for our tardiness. Please, Mr. Redland Rose, would you still make our costumes for us? I am sorely to blame for our delay. You needn't make mine if th what there isn't time. But I beg you not to punish the others for my mistake. No one else but you has the skills to make the costumes. If not for us, won't you please do it for the people? First you miss your appointment. Then you slink in here last minute, asking that I do the job with barely any time at all. Well, you three best thank your lucky stars that I'm a fan of the songbirds. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've been following your ensemble very closely, and I've studied up on the themes and motifs you employ. I believe I have a suitable design. I've already received your preferred dyes and fabrics, so I shall set to work at once. Once your costumes are ready, I shall send you for a fitting. Thank you so very much, sir. 
To think that a celebrity weaver like Redovan Redolin Rose knew about us. And if he wasn't up now Now that he's met me, that is <laughs> Now then, I'm sure not the only I'm not the only one who has some last minute preparations to attend to before the concert begins. I suggest we all start to Well, girls, you heard the man. Let's squeeze in one last practice of our routine to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. I've already perfected all the steps I can hit every note, so I don't need this. But I suppose it won't help me either help the two of you rehearse. Th thank you, Ma Mr. Redolent Rose, sir. We can't wait to see you later at the performance. Well, that just makes everything better, doesn't it? Alright. The girls tell me relevant redolent mm. The girls tell me redolent rose agreed to make their costumes. <laughs> what wonderful news! Thanks to you, our biggest problems have been resolved, and we are finally on track to hold the concert. There's just one last thing to be done. That is Chris. We must choose who shall take center stage at the opening show and thereby lead the songbirds to greater heights. My staff and I have spent so much time with the girls, our judgment has become clouded. You, on the other hand, know the songbirds just well enough to assess their strengths and weaknesses. And with your eye for talent, you would no doubt know which of the girls the audience desires most to see you take to the forefront of the stage. Now, the three are already aware that I mean, mean to entrust a decision to you, and they nervously await your answer. Once your mind is made, pray inform the Chosen directly. Oh, great. We have to choose. I already know who I'm choosing. Narumi? Yes. I thought so. I... I'm kind I of I liked more... her personality the best. Yeah, true. Please note that once you accept this quest, you'll be unable to accept Olala's grand performance and Masha's grand performance. While the reward will remain the same, the outcome of this event will change based on the upon which of these quests you decide to accept. You, you think I should be the one to take center stage? Truly, I'd love to, Chris. But do you think I'm right for the role? <coughs> There I go again, trusting my own ability. <sighs> it's the same sort of self-doubt that landed me in trouble at Horizon earlier. The die, which had me so distraught then, now seems inconsequential standing here with you. It goes to prove that fear is but a figment of one's mind, and we can conquer it, it if only we choose. I will be more decisive. And what better way to start than my leading the songbirds in the coming show? I will proudly take center stage and will put a smile on the faces of all present. You can count on me, Chris. With Ulala and Masha at my side, I shall bring you a performance you won't soon forget. Oh, look at the time. My apologies, but I must see to my preparations. Once again, thank you for all you have done for us. See you very soon. Speak with Royal Sanashal. Yep. Where's my so, free stuff? So, my friend, have you decided who will be taking center stage? Narumi. Indeed, you make a convincing case. Her gentle demeanor and soft voice will warm the audience to their very cause, and they'll go home feeling as though they caught a glimpse into the heavens themselves. And speaking of heaven, while you were out speaking with Narumi, Redolent Rose came by with a very special delivery. You guessed it! The girls' costumes have finally arrived, and they are absolutely divine! While organizing this event has been a grueling task, to say the least, one cannot say it wasn't worth it when they took look upon these. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, let's see. 
Chris, the moment we have all been waiting for is upon us. Now that their costumes are here and we know who will be leading them, the songbirds are ready to take Little Lady's Day stage. There they are, at Edward Avenue, making final preparations. Let us hurry and join them. Chris, all the blood, sweat, and tears have poured into making this event a reality. You are about to pay off. Girls, it is time. Step out there, give the audience what they came for, and make us all proud. Yeah, I'm not doing multiple voices, so fuck it. What voice? What, what do you mean? It was all three of them that were supposed to say it. Oh. The audience, Chris. Do you see how their eyes shine, utterly entranced? The earlier vitriol has completely melted away to be replaced with pure delight. The girls have done it. Little Lady Day, Little Lady's Day is a rousing success. And to think I was so convinced that letting the songbirds go off on their own would ruin all of Little Lady's Day. <laughs> Looking back, if I say anything, all the trouble we encountered along the way has made the conclusion of this event much more satisfying. Why, seeing the girls performing now, I would go so far as to say that their hardships have served to bring out the very best in the songbirds. Now then, as much as I would like to watch the performance to the end, I must return to my post on the Ruby Road Exchange. There is, however, something I wish to give you later, so please come and find me when you are able. The songbirds. They were magnificent, weren't they? Be proud, my friend. It is a success that can largely be attributed to you. For all your hard work, I would like to present you with these. Vouchers that can be exchanged for a variety of Little Ladies Day goods. As with past Little Ladies Days, we have a large selection of items on offer. But this year we're, we are carrying something special. And lest you wonder, Redolent Rose was kind enough to design a gentleman's variant of the outfit that the men that men the realm over might also celebrate as the ladies do. Should, for whatever reason, you find yourself short on vouchers, any items that catch your fancy can always be bought the traditional way. And by that, I mean with Gil, of course. Thank you again, Chris. Now please, go forth and enjoy what is left of this merriest of seasons. You have more than earned it. Oh, and don't forget, the songbirds will continue performing throughout the duration of the event. If you have need of cheer, you know where to find them. You have learned the emote songbird. And achievement unlocked, Eorzean Idol. All right. All right. Oh, damn it. Zero slots remaining in my inventory again. Oh, I'm sorry, Moose. All right, let's make sure there's enough room in my 
regular inventory too to deal with all the commotion. Sort. Oh, and by the way, you can color the outfit. Oh, really? Huh. Pretty sure. Yep. You can dye it. Um. I gotta get rid of a few, uh, cumbersome items. Let's see what you look like in red. She always has to make, make every event into a goddamn race. Me? Yeah, you. I'm not doing anything. I'm not racing anywhere. I'm standing. Yeah, but you always... You had to go and get it first. Get what first? Everything. Anyways. Of course I exchanged my vouchers! Are you on crack? They know the crack. Ooh, that's kind of pretty, and I don't like... Your doll mode red does not... It looks too pink. Let's see. That's really pink. Show all equipped gear. Hmm, not bad in black. It was... See, again, this is where I say that all items should be... Ooh, that's not horrible. Ooh, in pure white it looks nice. I might have a secondary... This might have to be my scholar look. Hmm. How do the pants look by themselves, though? Ooh, in silver it looks pretty. Oh, I don't have enough armory chest space to unequip my shirt, so I gotta... Oh, are we trying our outfits on? Uh, return to, return this to inventory for right now, because I want to see how the pants look. Hmm. I am currently naked in the middle of the street. With everyone seeing. Yeah. Whatever. I was not aware you were such an exhibitionist. No comment. I'm not hearing a no. I said no comment. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a no. Alright, let's see this emote. It'll probably be the one and only time I ever use it, but let's see what happens. Wait, wait, wait! Okay! Did you it's know, wait, not yet. Ready? Where is it? Persist in Where is under, it? Persistent tab. Next to sit. Oh Got wait. It. You, oh wait, you don't have Ready? One, two, two three. three. Strange, 
Strange thing is, I did like Backstreet Boys as a kid. I may change the- I may change the boots and the pants, though. You don't have the chapeau! Yeah, that's because I didn't put it- I didn't reveal it. I mean, could you really see me wearing this hat on any other occasion? <laughs> no, you can't. So I hide my- this is why I hide- I think I have to make you one of those hats in real life. If you do, that is it. <laughs> I will fong you to within an inch of your life. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I wish. You know what I really wish? What? That we could dye different components different colors? Because look at the bow on the back of this and tell me that's not Sailor Moonish. I would so dye blue skirt. Hold different on. Color. I, I can't fucking see if you keep moving around, goddammit. Stand the fuck still. Oh yeah, totally Sailor Moonish. I like this outfit. I like the top. I'm not too thrilled about the pants and the boots though. Let me see how they look with Expeditioner pants. And the moccasins. Now that... That I wouldn't mind wearing. Though with different gloves. Definitely different gloves. What do you think? It's cute. Yeah, I like it better with the Expeditioner pants. Though if I could find boots that were kind of like the moccasins, but a little bit like, uh... What's the Dude, word Dude, you're I'm... so much taller than me. Duh, I'm an Aura. I'm a kitty. But anyway, so that and that is pretty much it for the Little Ladies Day event. Wait, did you get your patch of thingy? I'm going to in a minute. Jeez, I'm I already bought it. Yeah, well, I'm grabbing one myself. By the way, I put stuff in the garden. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. We'll grab one, two, three. We'll grab four of them. That way, that way we have them. Now I just gotta find where I put the cherry trees again, the cherry blossom trees. Now, <laughs> even in party chat, I, even in FC <laughs> chat, I don't get a break. I'm, I've always got <laughs> someone busting my balls. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and with that, the outfit is officially <laughs> off. Say what? Back to my ninja gear. <laughs> Anyways. 
Let's head back to the FC. <coughs> see, see where I put the, uh... Let's see where I put the damn, uh... Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you want these cherry blossom trees, right? Uh-huh. I will keep them in my retainer if I need to. There they are. Oh, we have four of them. Good. But I think I'm only going to put down two, so... I'm going to drown you. I'm going to drown you like a sack of dumb puppies. Search, not search for item. Oh yeah, whoops. Housing, outdoor furnishings. Did they change the cherry trees on me? No. Yeah, I think they did. There we go. There's one. Now you look like Michael Jackson. Damn it, I used to be able to frickin... Come on, set right. Now see, I could have done this in com on my computer in... <clears throat> In no time at all, but. There we go. So that's gonna be it for this little ladies' day celebration. As always, I almost thought you were gonna say that's it for this little lady. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> you came close. Anyway, uh, thank you, Lady Darkfire, for joining us. Even though you've been a gigantic pain in the ass the entire way. Uh, Bye everyone! Till next time of Torturing Chris! <sighs> Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, if you like this, if you fit, as always, like this video, leave, com if you're watching this on YouTube, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the goddamn channel, go back and all watch all my other videos, cause lord knows I need the views. Uh, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash cruisingx. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash cruisenickx. Follow me on Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash cruisenickx. 
Uh, make sure you turn on notifications so that you can be notified of all my live streams and all my videos posting. But until next time, hopefully in patch in the next uh, Far Edge of Fate patch, until then, Cruise the Gex, out!